I've seen somebody die in the street. This kid, I've seen. And he was in, only he was only about eighteen. Yeah, uh, he was the oldest twenty. Twenty, no more than twenty. Did, did you know him? No, no, he didn't know. No, oh, was years ago. This was years ago. Só só me recordo de uma coisa. Foi de ver o meu pai chorar muito. Eles eram bastante amigos. Só me recordo disso. And broken broken bones. Pretty much every bullfight. Yeah. Hey guys, think I look? Huh? Well, I'm gonna die fighting bulls in the middle of the Atlantic. I uh, might as well look good. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be very useful to these guys. <laughs> They all kind of work in sync, kind of like a pit crew at NASCAR. I am just not on that wavelength one bit. Can you hear those things moving in there? Hey guys, for your smoke break today, we're showing you a quick cut from our episode covering the San Juan Inish celebration on Terceira Island, Portugal, where we covered a unique style of bullfighting called Torrada Acorda. Since no one really wasted any time telling me what was going on here, I used my very basic understanding of Portuguese to piece together what was happening. They're gonna launch the bull out of this yeah. right here. And uh, let me f tell you, that thing is mad. That thing is very upset that he's here. Oh, oh, thirsty. So when they do these bullfights, they release four bulls, and they all go out, and of course, every now and then, they catch someone in the crowd, wrecks you. They say there's the fifth bull, and that's the bar, that's the drinks afterwards, that's what's really going to get you. After this, you got to cut your sideburns for the rest of the trip. I do. How many euro do I have to pay you to cut your sideburns? Not very many. Just for a couple days. Not very many. Five euro? I mean, five euro ones. If you survive the bullfight, if you make it out alive, I'll do it for free. Deal. I'll do it for Deal. Free. All right, so the rocket just went off. The bullfights are starting. We think we're ready. I think so. We'll sort. We'll sort. So we have to hide behind the paper. They release the like wall. He's around to the street, and they can. I mean, this is just an alleyway right here. They can theoretically come around here and get us, but allegedly they're not going to. And with one lift of the gate, our Torada is underway. Technically, anybody brave enough can go out in the street and challenge a bull, but there's already a group of regulars called Kapinjus that usually put on the show. Like this older gentleman, who clearly still has a cigarette in his mouth. Now you might be saying to yourself, isn't this just asking for massive property damage all throughout the village? The answer, of course, is yes. But the people of Trisea have a system worked out. Down each road, there's a line painted on the ground, and the bull is not to cross that line. It's the pastor's job ultimately to prevent this from happening. If the bull goes past that line, then the owners of the bull are responsible for any property damage. Ideally though, the bull essentially runs free, with the capina skillfully handling it and making sure it doesn't go out of bounds. The quarter on the bull's neck is really more of a half-ass insurance policy in the event of the worst case scenario. There's my brother Grant. You handled danger well. Not quite as well as Fabio here, but Pretty good, pretty good. As crazy as it sounds, there is something peaceful about ignoring all of life's distractions and focusing solely on a raging bull in front of you. Bills you gotta pay. Not that big of a deal. Global warming. Forget about it. Social media. Who cares? Where to plan our next episode? Might never happen. So the next time you're feeling down, remember this little motto I just came up with. Go out there and grab life by the horns. Yeah, Jamie, I, I usually just brunch. Don't tell mom I did that. She doesn't like it when I fight bulls. See how that was, JT? There you go. Maybe put some 40-40 on there.